Hi, my name is Sarah Dowling, and I'm going to read the poem Clip, which is the first poem in my book, Entering Sappho. Clip. Monday, May 15th, Sappho, Washington. A logging chapter is closed. Those country maidens were good riders, flowers blooming in an old bathtub, cows grazing in an orchard, garments wet as they should be. Across the dirt road, peasant girls on the front porch, a town of five houses, oh, anyone would want to live in the fenced area nearby, anyone wet dress around her feet. Her dress about her ankles, an old bathtub, in the front yard horses munch grass. What wench country fried at the side of the highway has electricity, television, a telephone, oh, it's for the birds. What rustic girl plans to enter her prize quarter horse in races this summer? She's never known anything but logging trucks. She doesn't even draw her gown across her feet. Water flowers bloom, country girls turn north at Sappho, go to Pisht, spend time darning holes in wool socks and wondering, why would anyone pull rags over her ankles? What girl wants to live in nearness to fishing? What country girl is unspoiled nature? Young mothers by choice, they hear about it three days later. They still don't pull the cloth over their feet. Down Highway 101 apiece, what country girl says, you can do these things in cities, small town life is all I want to know. They front on the old houses for truckers and tourists, tearing down the last of the company shacks. What girl waits like a wife for wet attackers spinning yarns from her country dress? Oh, that girl gathers it up with artless grace. You can still see a girl's feet at Sappho. You can see the owner of the company store. Those girls would sit, eating clams, soft blossoms, simple dresses in a line on the ground. Maybe loggers and their families shot deer, bear, elk, some girl in the area. Why would anyone want to live when May 1 the post office closes forever? Those girls lay claim to time, backward and forward, their hemlines sweeping the ground. Thanks.